one goal away from an absolutely unreal 24 hours after the Bruno Fernandes deal was announced by United. But at the Etihad, we just fell short. But that was not the sort of game that I was expecting, that you were expecting, that anybody was expecting. With City 3-1 up from the first leg at Old Trafford, everybody expected United to get absolutely pumped tonight by City. And in the first 15, 20 minutes, it looked like that was going to happen. City with Bernardo Silva, Aguero, Kevin De Bruyne, Sterling, Mares, Gundogan. Their front six was ridiculous. And they were playing with such an intense press that United couldn't play out from the back with it. But we stayed stellar. A couple of good saves from De Gea. A nice offside flag by the linesman. And United was still nil-nil. Then Fred goes, goes and gets a free kick. And Matic spanks it in with our first shot on target. 1-0 United. We go in at half-time. And we are completely in this game. And the Etihad is nervous. The City players are nervous. And that continued throughout pretty much the entire game. But Matic, hero to zero made the goal that got us in the game and up until the point where he got sent off was playing absolutely fantastic but then he goes and gets sent off united down to 10 men and at that point we all knew it was game over but we were hoping that united were going to get their chances and we did we had dan james with that poor cross over the top to harry Maguire. martial had an absolute stinker of a game tonight where we really needed him to show us the quality it was just completely lacking Jesse Lingard in that number 10 role. Good God, I'm glad we signed Bruno Fernandes. You see Solskjaer shouting at Lingard. Shouting him saying, if you lose the ball one more time, I'm taking you fucking off. What happened? He took him off. Nice to see that little bit of a, a bite to Solskjaer as a manager. But tonight, he was trying to instill the spirit of Paris, which sounded like a big cliche before the game. But United nearly did it again. Against the odds, without Rashford, without McTominay, who are our two best players early this season. Without Pogba, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe there with City. It was a tough first 25-30 minutes with City just pouncing, pounding, pounding, pounding our defence. But United stayed strong. And when Matic got that goal, City went in on themselves and United were in the ascendancy. But ultimately, the lack of, I suppose, quality, the lack of opportunities... It stung us towards the end, and that's what happens when you come into a game with a 3-1 deficit after the first leg. It was just too much for United. And there's no guarantee that we would have won on penalties, but I would, eh, there isn't actually, because De Gea doesn't really save that many penalties. But it didn't happen. For me tonight, my man in the match was Fred. I think Fred, up against such a tough situation there, with De Bruyne and Sterling and Mahrez and Aguero, it just... The press was so intense on our midfielders on the edge of the box that they hardly had a moment to think. But his touches into space, his breaking through the lines, his passing range tonight, he was the man that was taking off the pressure of United at any point he could. He was playing very smart and Matic, to his credit, alongside him, both of them were fantastic. Matic loses quite a bit because he got sent off and at that point the game really... Slipped out of United's hands. But tonight, I suppose you've got to take pride in it. You've got to take pride in a local derby. United were going there expecting to get... Well, no, United weren't going there expecting to get pumped. Everybody expected United to get pumped. But we did not. And maybe if Martial was more in his game, maybe if Lingard wasn't such a horrendous footballer in the number 10 position, we could have actually won that fixture over the both legs. But tonight... Solskjaer got his second win against Guardiola at the Etihad in the same season. We did it without McTominay and Rashford and Pogba. It's just such a shame we fell just that little, that last 5%. We did 90% of getting ourselves back into that game. But that last 5%, the bit that mattered the most, that could have made the difference between us going out and getting to the final, we just didn't have it. But Solskjaer and his players should take pride in how he played tonight. A few City fans given the Munich airplanes. Absolute assholes. I hope they get found out, named and banned by Man City. There's so much outrage. And Ed Woodward chant, I want to see the outrage at these Munich airplane gestures. But United go out to City. Everybody expected it before the game. But we showed fight. We had the goal. 
We just didn't have the second. We left ourselves with too much to do after that first leg. And for me, Fred was the absolute man of the match. Who was your man of the match? What's your reaction to the game? Shame. But Bruno Fernandes, send on a good note.